praise. You are welcomed in this house, in this sanctuary, in this tabernacle. We welcome you in Jesus. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. You are welcome here. Fill all space. Have your way. Do what you do best. Hallelujah. We just come to give you the glory. We just come to magnify you. We just come to bless you. We just come to say thank you, Jesus. We just come to lift our voice and shout hallelujah. Oh God, we just come with a praise on our lips. Oh, joy in our dance on this evening. Oh, if it had not been for you who was on our side, we don't know where we would be. Oh, but your grace and your mercy, your grace and your mercy. It was your blood, oh, your precious blood, oh, God, that covered us. Hallelujah, that protected us from danger seen and unseen. Oh, for this, we give you praise. For that, we give you praise. Oh, God, oh, God. Oh, we are excited about your presence this evening. We are excited about being in the house of God. We know what we would have been doing if we wasn't saved on a Friday night. Oh, but we come to dance before you, Jesus. Dance before the King of glory, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords. Oh, God. Oh, bless the Lord, oh, my soul, and all that is within me. I bless your holy name. I bless your holy name. I bless your holy name. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. I give you the praise. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. I don't know what you come to do. I come to give him praise. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. I'm not worthy. Oh, but what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth, they adore him. Oh, God, I'm excited about being in your presence. I'm excited about it's a privilege and an honor to be in your presence, being able to lift up holy hands, being able to open up my mouth and bless in your holy name with clean lips and a pure heart. Hey! Only God can do it. Only God could do it. Only God could do it. The drugs couldn't do it. The streets couldn't do it. The money couldn't do it. The alcohol couldn't do it. My friends couldn't do it. My mama couldn't do it. My father couldn't do it. My aunties and my uncles, they couldn't do it. Only God. That's why I praise him the way that I do. That's why I give him the glory the way that I do. He picked me up out of the muck and the miry clay. Never shall forget. I can't forget. A mighty long way, I won't forget. I won't forget. Oh, you picked me up out of a horrible pit, Jesus. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to do it. Oh, it was your love that lifted me. It was your love that when nothing else could help, it was his love. It was his love. It lifted me. I wish I had a witness in the house tonight. I wish I had a witness in the house tonight that knows what I'm talking about. Maybe I got some folks on this side that knows what, 
Okay, let me try this side. I got one over here. I got a couple now. Oh, hallelujah. Oh. We come to praise the Lord. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise and his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God. Jesus said it, Jesus said it, Jesus said it, Jesus said it, believe on me, believe on me, believe on me, believe on me, scripture said it, scripture said it, scripture said it, scripture said it, believe on me, believe on me, believe on me, believe on me, out of your belly, 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 out of your belly.
Church was on fire and the Holy Ghost too. Church was on fire and the Holy Ghost too. Church was on fire and the Holy Ghost too. Church was on fire and the Holy Ghost too. Church was on fire and the Holy Ghost too. Shay River, living water.
Anything good can happen when the name. I said, Jesus. If you don't get excited about that name right down here, I don't know what you think you're going to do when you get up there. I said, Jesus. Jesus. His great name. Come on, you love to call on his great name. Why don't you take a few moments to do that right now? Come on, call on his great name. Come on, call on his great name. We love to call the name of Jesus. I said we love that name. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we love you, Jesus, more than anything, more than life itself, more than the breath that we breathe. We love you, Jesus. We love to call your name, it's something we cannot explain. That happens when we proclaim your great name, your great name. We love to call your name, call your name, it's something we cannot explain. That happens. When we proclaim your grace, say name. your grace, your grace, say name. King Jesus, King Jesus, no other name, King Jesus, stronger, stronger. we can call on you, call on things, you. Change. things change, us when we call on your name, Whoa. say King Jesus, King Jesus, no other name. We love to call your name in song. We cannot explain. That happens. That happens when we proclaim your great name. Your great name. Say we love to. We love to call your name. Call your name in song. We cannot explain. That happens. When we proclaim your great Say name. your great your name. Great Say name. King Jesus. King Jesus. The world. The world. Oh, the stronger. We can call on you. Things change. Things change. When we call on your name. I love that part. We say King Jesus. King Jesus. The world. The not stronger. Not we stronger. can call on you. Call on Things you. change. Things change when we call on your name. There is power in the name of Jesus. Power in your name. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power in your name. Help me say. There is power in the name of Jesus. So much power. Power in the name. There is, there is power in the name of Jesus. So much power. Power in your name. Oh, say things change. Things change when we call you. Jesus, things change when we call your name. Say things change. Things change when we call you Jesus. Things change when we call your name. Say I'm free. I'm free when I call you. You have come to set the path free in this. I'm free when I call your name. Say I'm free. I'm free when I call you Jesus. Call! 
Your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all our praise. You're worthy of all my praise. Mighty are the works of your hands. 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 Your name is above all names. Your name is above all names. You're worthy of all my praise. You're worthy of all my praise.
to say you can't have my family. Come on, all around this room, lift those hands. Come on. In the name of Jesus. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, sing that with me. Call the name. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Come on, you silence fear. You silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, you silence fear. You silence fear. Jesus, Jesus, you make the darkness. You make the darkness tremble. Jesus, Jesus, your name. The shadows can't deny your name cannot be overcome your name is a light forever lifted high your name cannot be overcome your name is a light that the shadows can't your name cannot be overcome. Your name, your name is alive, forever lifted high. Your name, your name cannot be overcome. Come on, we're gonna shout, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. You make the darkness. You make the darkness tremble. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. 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 I'm not turning back now. 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 I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. 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 I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I already made up my mind. I'm not turning back now. I already made up my mind. I'm not turning back now. I already made up my mind. I'm not turning back now. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna put my trust. I'm gonna wait. Cause you never failed, you never I'm gonna failed. wait on you, Jesus. I'm gonna wait on you, Jesus. I'm not turning back now. 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 I'm not giving up now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. I'm not turning back now. 
wait on you, Jesus. There's a war going on, a war in the heavenlies. There's a war going on, a war in the heavenlies. There's a war. There's a war going on, a war in the heavenlies. There's a war. There's a war going on, a war in the heavenlies. 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 There's a war. A war in the heavenlies. 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 Praise the Lord, everybody, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. And everybody, praise the Lord. I'm here just to give a formal invitation. We appreciate you. Thank you for pressing your way and coming out to the service. But we're looking for God to undertake in the word of God uh, through the bishop that's here. And we appreciate you and we ask you to relax, enjoy yourself. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen. The Lord, he is good. Yes, he is. I said the Lord, he is good. Yes, he is. 
I'm going to say that one more time. The Lord, he is good. He's been better than good. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. Let me go ahead and quit. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. I thank the Lord for being here, amen, on a Friday night. Amen. I'm even more excited because I get to celebrate my father and the bishop. Amen. 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 When we got together, amen, and we, he came to me about transition and taking over, amen, I said, I still want to celebrate him every year, amen, because even though he is not pastoring anymore, amen, he is still a pastor, amen, he's still a pastor, amen, and he has labored in the field and continues to labor in the field, and I thank God, amen, to seem fit to keep him here with us, amen, working alongside with myself, amen, moving, amen, this church forward in Jesus' name, amen, and how can I forget my mother? <laughs> Mama, I love you so much. Amen, amen, amen. Just, amen, real quick, amen. I want to give, amen, the guest pastors. We have Pastor Amos, amen. We have Pastor Smith, amen. Pastor Smith was just newly elected and appointed to Charity Tabernacle, amen, amen. And so what we're going to do is, amen, I want, amen, the pastors, guest pastors to come, amen, and just greet the congregation, amen, after which, amen, I'm going to ask that, amen, Bishop Harris, if you would come and raise the offering, amen, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and in that order, <laughs> Pastor Smith. Amen, praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Amen, we bring you greetings from Charity Tabernacle, Apostolic Church. Amen. We thank and praise God for his goodness unto the sons of men. Amen. God is great and greatly to be praised. Amen. As worship and praise was going forward, how in the name of Jesus was being proclaimed, how all I could think about was how the name of Jesus is a game changer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. How it's something about that name. My God, my God. How it soothes my doubts. How oh, it calms my fears. My God, my God, when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he has done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. Oh, I praise God for saving me. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, first giving honor to God who's the head of my life. Amen, Pastor Royce Field, Bishop Royce Field. Amen, thank and praise God. Amen, Pastor Amos, Bishop Harris. Oh, God is a great God. Oh, my mind went back. Ha, to where we, where we was over at Bethel. Hallelujah. How and uh, Joel Urshan preached. How and he preached the message. Ha, bury me with the bones of, a, of the prophet. How and the whole church seemed like it was at the altar. Ha, giving God the praise. How and I cried out to God. Ha, during that night, that service, I said, Lord, can you do something with me? Hallelujah. I'm a nobody preacher. My God, my God. How oh, God did something with me. Oh, God is great. I oh, am greatly to be praised. Praise the Lord, everyone. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I do honor the Lord tonight and the pastor of this assembly and his companion, uh, uh, Elder Fields and his companion, also to Pastor Smith and his wife, and to, uh, to my wife. I can't leave her out. And amen. And of course, to our speaker tonight. We just honor the Lord for him and his uh, companion. I know we're gonna hear a word from him tonight. And of course, we're here to celebrate uh, with the honoree. And that's Bishop Royce Fields, a longtime friend. Let's give him some praise. I, I graduate you, and I come to celebrate with you. And it's an honor to be here, for you certainly have been a, a labor in the vineyard of the Lord. This man of God, you that know him, who have heard him preach, and I think his teaching really is par excellent is one who studies the word of God and you won't leave the same way that you come in. So I just thank God for being here to celebrate tonight. God bless you. Amen. 
Well, you know what I'm up here for? <laughs> to lift a wonderful offering for these honorees. I'm sure it's going to them, right? All right. So we definitely want to get a good offering tonight. This is Friday night. And when I was in the world, we said the eagles fly on Friday night. That means money going to be spent. So tonight, we're not in the clubs. We're right here. So we can spend our money right here. So we need a wonderful offering. I'm going to ask some to come up and help me out. Elder Amos, would you come bring $100 with you? Amen. Elder Williams. <laughs> Elder, Elder Aldrin Williams, will you come bring a hundred dollars with you? Brother Aaron Williams, will you come and help us out? You done been on a trip. You ain't spent that much in Chicago. And Elder Troy Pepper. I'm getting some money up here now, see. See. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting money up here now. Let's see, we got two on this side and two on this side. That's four. I need one more for some grace. Come on, uh, Deacon uh, Williams. Come on. Now, let's see, one, two, three. Four, five. That's 500 right there. Amen. Amen. Anyone else want to join us with $100? Stand up, please. All right. Deacon Hunt, Deacon Wade. Look at these deacons. Minister T. Nibs and Burroughs and Deacon... Man, Lord have mercy. My deacon's kicking in, ain't they? Let me, uh, oh, Elder Hell, I forgot all about Elder. Boy, you escaped me, didn't you? But you here. Let me have that money. Can I fill that money here? Bring it to me. There we go. Put to my hand there. There we go. Okay. All right. All right. I'm gonna give it. Yeah. Now, I'm gonna give it to you. To, you got a little table. You gonna put this on? Get that table right there. We can lift some money here. They got a card that can swipe it in the vestibule. All right. You got a card. You want to swipe it in the vestibule? But I, I like to see right now money. You know, I, I, I'm from the old school. I like right now money. See, anyone else want to give us 100? This is a fruitful ministry. Anyone else want to give $100 to this ministry? I need them to let me know who gave $100 toward this offering on their card so that we can count it. Anyone else? All right, what about $50? Thank you, Deacon Torn. Anyone else want to give $50? Brother King, I almost said Deacon King. Amen. $50? All right. 
Let me know. And they want to give it back on that card back there. Let me know how many hundred dollars that they are given toward this. That's all right. First Lady Harris, what you looking smiling for? You already gave yours? All right. Uh, you know you got more. All right. The ushers? Oh, wait a minute. I forgot the $20 bills. How many got $20 to give? Would you mind standing, please? With that tray, Deacon, will you go get that, them $20 for us? Oh, you got it? Okay, all right. What you doing, hiding on there, man? man? Been doing? How you been doing? Blessed. Good, so good, good. good. All right, after those 20s, we're going to get you to obey the ushers, you that have the rest. And I know you. some of you got fives and tens and so forth. We're going to ask you, we're going to turn you in the hand of the usher and let them direct you out. I don't know how, which way you want to come, but I want you to direct them out. How much you got so far? Did you count that in this bag right here? Okay. 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 Obey the ushers, please. So nobody have to step over you. Okay. That's, that's good. Okay. All right. Walked in sick, you're gonna walk out healed. If you walked in bound, you're gonna walk out free. All just right. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Everything will change. Everything Very will good. change. That's, that's good. Just the mention of his one. name. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Everything will change. Everything will change. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Everything will change. Everything will change. Just the mention of his name. If you're walked in bound, you're gonna walk out free. If you walked in heavy, you're going to walk out light. Just the mention of his name. 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 Everything will change. Everything Have everyone given? Anyone didn't feel like walking and you wanted to give, would you raise your hand? All right, we want to thank you so much for your liberality, and I'm sure we, we're right at, what is it, Jason, about two? We're right at 2,400. Amen. 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 So it's going to be a little more because some, we didn't count the ones and the tens and fives that came up here. Amen. Amen. God is good, isn't he? All right, we're going to ask if our deacon here would just pray over the offering right now, please. Amen. Turn your back in the hands of... Uh, who? Just the mention of his name. 
Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Everything will change. Everything will change. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Everything will change. Everything will change. Just the mention of his name. 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 Everything will change. Everything will change. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Nobody like you, Jesus. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Just the mention of his name. Everything will change. Everything will change. If you walked in sick, you're gonna walk out healed. If you walked in bound, you're gonna walk out free. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. We had just some little bit of complications back there with the swipe machine. Amen. But we got it squared away. Amen. We are going to, uh, amen, present to you all Victory Tabernacles. Amen. Praise team. It was going to bring some selections. Amen. After which, amen, the next voice that you will hear is Bishop William Harris to bring forth the word of God. Amen. Somebody. Amen. Somebody say hallelujah, Jesus. Can somebody say hallelujah, Jesus? Okay, do me a favor. Let's break it up in this room. Everybody lift your hands up. and Can you give God a standing ovation for being who he is, Jesus Christ? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Lift up your hands. Hallelujah. Come on and say hallelujah, hallelujah Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on, can we just give God a wave off it right now like you love him? Come on, wave at him, wave at him. Come on, come on, come on. And just say hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, can we take about 20 seconds before we sing a song and think of something God has done for you the last couple months and just lift your hands and begin to worship him right there. Come on, come on. Just say hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, say thank you, Jesus. Come on, say hallelujah, Jesus. Come on and say hallelujah as the musicians are almost getting ready. Could you just give God one more wave offering and say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. How many know God is your firm foundation in this place? Come on. How many know there's nothing we can do without him? It's in him that we live and we have our being. Can we just lift our hands right now to begin to worship who he is right now? He is our firm foundation and will forever give his name the praise and the honor. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Come on, say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Christ is my firm foundation. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The rock on which I stand when everything around me is shaken. I never be more glad that I put my faith in Jesus. He's never let me down. He's faithful through generations. So I want he fell now. He won't. Would you just lift your hands over this place right now? Come on. How many believe we serve a God that will never fail? Thank you, Jesus. Yay. Help me say. Say. Said I still got joy in chaos. I got peace that makes no sense. I've got peace that no sin. I won't be going under. I won't be going under. 
wonder. I'm not held by my own strength. I'm not held by my own Because I built my life. I built my life for Jesus. He's never let me down. And he's never let me down. He's faithful through every faithful season. Faithful through every season. So why? So why would I need you to help me sing this part. And so he won't. He won't. He won't. He won't. You ought to lift your hands and say he won't fail. Say he won't fail. Say he won't, he won't. Said he won't. Does anybody believe that on tonight? Say he won't fail. Oh no, he won't. Said he won't fail. Say Christ is the Christ is my firm foundation. The rock on which I stand. The rock on when everything around me is changed, I've never been more glad. So I've never been more Cause glad. I put my, I put my faith in Jesus. He's never let me down. He's never but let me he's down. Faithful. He's faithful. Faithful through generations. So why would he, help me say, it so why would he fail? Help me say what? Yeah, say he won't. Have I got a witness that will believe that on tonight? Say with us, he won't fail. Said he won't fail. Oh no, he won't. Said he won't fail. Come on, say he won't. Said he won't. Oh, said he won't. If you got a witness in this building, lift your hand and say, he won't. Said he won't fail. No, no, he won't. He won't fail. Just lift your hands over this place right now. I don't know about y'all, but rain and storms come through your life. But how many can testify he's been an anchor for you? I don't hear you. How many can testify he's been there in the time of storm? He's dried your tears. He's carried your burdens. Said oh. rain came a wind blew, but my house was built on you. He said I'm safe with you. I'm going to make it. Help me say rain came. Said rain came. Blue, but my, my house was built on you. Said I'm safe with you. Said with you. I'm I wanna hear the house say well. Said rain came. Said rain came with blue. But my said my house was built on you. Said I'm safe with you. Come on and say, I'm gonna make it. Said rain came. Said rain. Said wind blew. But my house, my house was built on. Come on, lift your hand and say, I'm safe. You said I'm safe with you. Come on, come on. Say, you said I'm gonna make it. You said I'm gonna make it. Cause I'm standing strong on I'm you. Strong you said on I'm you. gonna make it. I'm gonna hey. make it. Cause true. I'm house is built on you. My house is built on you. You said I'm gonna make it. You said I'm gonna make it through. Hey, cause I'm standing strong. You said I'm standing strong. I'm gonna make it. Said I'm gonna make it. Cause my house was built on you. Said Christ is, said Christ is my firm foundation. The rock on which I stand. The rock on which I stand. Lift say, with everything, with everything around me is shaking. Said I've never been more led. I've never been more Cause I put my faith in Jesus. 
said, he's never let me down. He's never let me down. He's faithful to generations. So why would he? And so why would he? Everybody say, well, I'll say, he won't. Yeah. Said, he won't. It's not as his nature to fail. Lift your voice and say, he won't fail. Well, I know he won't say, he won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. Come on with the loud voice. Say, he won't. He won't fail. Oh, say, he won't. Yes, I can say with confidence, he won't fail. He won't fail. He won't fail. Now lift your voice all this place right now. Give God a shout of praise in this place. Come on, when victory and Bethesda come together, come on, lift your voice in this place. I don't know what rain you're going through. I don't know what trial you're going through. But I dare you right now on a Friday night, just give it to Jesus. Just give it to Jesus. Give all your burdens to Jesus. Because he cares, because he cares. Give it all to Jesus. Can somebody say glory? Come on, give God a wave off foot and say hallelujah, Jesus. Come on, say hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you do me a favor? Just look at somebody next to you and say, hey, neighbor. Y'all didn't look at him. Y'all looking at me. Look at somebody and say, hey, neighbor. I don't know about you, but I came to make the devil mad. Tell him I've been through too much this year. Y'all didn't tell him. Find somebody and say, I've been through too much this year. Just to walk on a Friday night and be quiet. But do I got a praiser in the building right now that will just lift your hands with Elder Pepper and say glory. Come on, somebody say glory. We almost there. Will you do me a favor? Look down your road and say, hey, Ro, hey, Ro, hey, Ro, hey, Ro. Tell them if I'm going to praise them, you got to praise them with me. Come on, tell them there's a war going on. And I don't know about y'all, but I'm on the winning side. I wish I had a witness in here. But I'm on the side that's going to win this battle. Come on. Come on. Everybody, everybody clap those hands. Right. Come on, clap those hands like the devil's head is in between them. Come on. Say to everybody clap those Said everybody clap them. Hey, hey, hey. Ah, hey, hey. Said no, he's all right. Hey, everybody, you say ah. Come on and say No, he's all right. Come on, lift your voice and say ah. Say ah. Everybody say, I know he's all right. Hey, I got joy in my soul. God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all is well. He's attacking every day, but I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. Why? Because this me was. Everybody clap those hands. Come on. Say, oh, this me, oh, this me, oh, y'all gotta say it like I really mean it. This me, oh, this me, oh, yeah. Can I say the verse one more time? Hey, I got joy in my soul, God is in control. I got Satan on my trail, but I'm singing all his will. He's attacking every day. But I'm watching while I pray. No matter the attack, I won't turn back. Why? Cause this me was. Everybody clap those hands. Come on, come on. You say this me was. This me. This me was. Come on, you ought to clap them like we in an old school Pentecostal church. Say this me was. Yeah. Hey. 
Say you, you can't have my family. You can't have my family. You can't have my increase. You can't have my increase. You can't have my breakthrough. Come on, this. You can't have my breakthrough. Say you can't have my. You can't have my. You can't. You can't. I plead. I plead. I plead the blood. Said it's power in the blood. Said. I plead. I plead the blood. Hey, there's healing in the blood. You said. I plead. I plead the blood. Hey. Power in the blood, say. I plead, I plead the blood. Want to know why? Say this, me. Everybody clap your hands right there. Come on, say this, me. This, me. Oh, 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 oh. Say this, me. This, me. Oh, oh, oh. This, me. This, me. Oh. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, you do one more time. Hey. Say, you can't have my family. You can't have my family. You can't have my increase. You can't have my increase. You can't have my breakthrough. You can't have my breakthrough. Come on, Shady, you can't have my. You can't, you can't. I plead. I plead, I plead the blood. There's power in the blood, say. I plead, I plead the blood. There's healing in the blood, you say. I plead, I plead the blood. Hey, there's power in the blood. I plead. Wanna know why? Cause this me. Everybody clap those hands right there. Come on, say this me. This me, Lord. Come on and clap those hands right there. Say this me, Lord. That's it. Put those hands together. Say, say, say. This me, Lord. I come to clap my hands. My hands. I come and stump my feet. My feet. I come and lift him up. Him up. Come to lift him up. Do I got a witness in the building? I come to lift him up. Can I get a witness in the building? I come to lift him up. I come to clap my hands. 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 I didn't come to look. I come to clap my hands. I didn't come to sit. I come to clap my hands. I came to do my day. To do my dance. my dance, do I got one witness? My do I got one witness? My dance. Would you find a neighbor? My dance. Would you find somebody? My dance. Yeah, I come to lift him up. Him up. 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 Can I get a couple leapers right now? Come him up. I come to lift him up. Him up. Cause he made a way. Him up. Cause he brought me through. Him up. I got to lift him up. Him up. I got to lift him up. Him up. I got to give him praise. Him praise. I got to give him praise. Him praise. All the stuff that I've been through. Him praise. All the stuff that I went through. Him praise. I came to give him praise. Him praise. Anybody came to praise him. Him praise. Anybody come to praise him. Him praise. Anybody come to praise him. Him praise. Didn't he bring you out? Him praise. Didn't he bring you through? Him praise. Didn't he push you forward? I got to give him praise. I don't know about y'all, but I'm trying to see everything God has done for me. I got to give him praise. I got to lift him up. I got to lift him up. You ought to point your hand to the ceiling. I got to lift him up with tears in my eyes. Tears in my eyes. I got to lift him up. Everybody clap them. Clap those him. Do me a favor. Bring it real hard. You better bring it real hard. One more favor, hey. Bring it down low. To lift him up. him up, I got to lift him up. Him up. Would you look at your neighbor? Him up. I got to lift him up. him up, cause he made a way. Him up. Cause he woke me up. Him up. Gave me strength to my body. Him up. Regulated my mind. Him up. I can't turn back. Him up. I can't turn back. Him up. I can't turn back. Him up. I got to lift him up. Him up. Wave your hands in the air. Yeah, I got to lift him up. Him up. Yeah, I got to lift him up. Him up. Everybody clap those hands right.
yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Hallelujah. I come to lift him up. He said, scratch it real high. Then he said, bring it down low. I stopped right there. <laughs> Thank God for the praise team. I hope you're enjoying yourself tonight. This is a Friday night. We ought to enjoy ourselves. Some have worked all week. Tired. Just want to get loose, huh? Amen. We just, just so grateful to God to be in his house tonight. We just appreciate the Lord what he has done for us all. Just glad to be here. Especially for our good friend, Bishop Fields, and his companion, Elderberry Fields. It's just, it's nice to have a good son yeah, I know. I got a good son. And, and it's nice to have one who considers the father. I wouldn't take this for granted. I know you don't. A lot of pastors move in and they don't think about the one that just moved out. It's all about them, but thank you, Elder Barry Fields for being a good son. And thinking about your father, we're just grateful to be here. Victory is always glad to be here to Pastor District Elder Amos and Pastor Smith. I know my other friend is here somewhere. I don't know, he didn't went blended in the crowd somewhere. But we're so grateful to be in the house of God. Just one more time. Every time you're going to do something for God, Satan tried to put his hand in there. When I heard those fans going, I knew what was going on. We, did, we went through the same thing, water all over the place. But the Lord brought you out. This is the 20-something, 20 29th, 22nd. All right, 22nd for Pastor Fields. And I know he's been laboring because you can see some of the fruit of his labor. And I know he put it in his son to be a good laborer too. Amen. Thank God for Victory, you being here. We appreciate you all for being here, Victory. We love you because you came out tonight. And thank you very much. It's a wonderful thing to know you got people that love you. And I'm glad you come out to back us up. This weather has really affected me a lot. You know, it's just up and down, up and down, up and down. Now, Sunday's supposed to be, what, 70? No. Boy, 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 what a February. But we're thankful that we're still alive and still in the land of the living. And thank God for uh, Charity being here. Thank you, Charity. Amen. I want to invite your attention. I'm going to keep you long tonight, if God's will. I think it's his will. <laughs> In the second Kings chapter five. He would stand in honor of the word of God. Second Kings chapter number five. 
And we're going to begin reading at verse number one. And then we're going to jump down to verse nine. Did you say amen? amen. Now Naaman, the captain of the host of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and honorable because by him the Lord had given deliverance unto Syria. He was also a mighty man of valor, but it's always a but. He was a leper. It's nice to say great things about great people, but there's always a but. Let's drop down to verse 9. So Naaman came with his horses and with his chariot and stood at the door of the house of Elisha. And Elisha sent a servant, his messenger, unto him, saying, Go wash in Jordan seven times, and thy flesh shall come again to thee, and thou shalt be clean. Verse 11, but Namath was wroth. In other words, he was angry and mad and went away and said, behold, I thought. And there's that I thought. Folk think a lot, don't they? But your thought is not God's thought. He will surely come out to me and stand and call on the name of the Lord his God and strike his hand over the place and Recover my, or recover the leprosy. Can we say amen? amen? Father God, we pray tonight and that your name will be glorified. And we pray, oh God, that you will bless our honorees tonight and bless all those uh, that is here tonight. Have your way in our lives tonight. In Jesus' name, can we all say amen? amen. May be seated. For a text, I'm sure you're looking for one. Too much to gain, to lose. Too much to gain, to lose. When I went over this story, I kind of thought about my life and other people's lives those that are saved, those who have went through many trials and tests. Some of us has many mouths behind us. So many of us have so many trials that we didn't went through. So many tears has helped us to remember what we had went through. Because it's just too much. Too much to gain. To lose. I thought about this man of valor also. I, I kind of looked him up a little bit and just went over his lifestyle. He's not an ordinary man. Ordinary men do not become captains of the hosts of the king. He was one who paid attention to things and the king could count on him. It means a lot when someone can count on you. But we see the king could count on Naaman. And the Bible says that God gave him a victory over Israel. Syria took control. And while there were companies that went out and captured those that were in the territory, the Bible said there was a maid who became a maid in the house of Naaman. And, you know, it's a strange thing how God can put a witness anywhere. Sometimes people feel like they have to be in church 
just to testify. But this woman proved that you can be anywhere and testify about the greatness of God. She said to her, I would that our master was in Samaria where the prophet is. He would heal him. And so the word got around, and when it got around, it got to the king because the king loved Naaman. And what I love about he loved him so much, he became an honorable man, a man that's trustworthy. I wouldn't want nobody around me that's not trustworthy. I don't need a tag alone. I need someone I can trust. Honorable man has to be trusted, and he is trusted. He is a man that looked out for business. He is a man that sacrificed his time to be the captain of the host. A man that stood the test. A man that God could see something in this man to use him against his own people. Naaman just wasn't a routabout. Naaman was a man that God seen something in. And the people loved Naaman because the king loved Naaman. So one day the the king got word that there was a prophet down in Samaria. And the word was that if you go, he could heal your buddy, your friend of leprosy. So he sends a letter to the king in Samaria. The king was intimidated. It's something to be intimidated. And what gets me, though, why would he take it personal when he had a prophet? Now you think about it. This king really didn't take name uh, the prophet Elisha. He took him for granted. When he sent the letter to him, if it was me, I would say, take this letter to the prophet. I wouldn't go down in sackcloth and ashes because I know there's a prophet here that can take care of business. So that proves the man didn't know much about God because he would have known there's a man of God right here among us. But he went down in sackcloth and ashes and word got to Elisha. Elisha said to him, why are you doing this? Send him to me. The Bible said that Naaman and his host in his chariot. See, Naaman had a chariot. He just didn't ride a horse. He had a chariot and pulled his chariot right up to the prophet's door. And you know what gets me is that he bought gifts to give the prophet. And to give the prophet, he took about 10 talents of silver, 6,000 pieces of gold, 10 changes of apparel. And he's trying to pray God's man for healing. Now today, they would take it. Anytime you let a cross-dresser pray for you, just so you can get a million dollars. You knew he would have took that money. Y'all ain't got that. Ain't no way in the world that cross-dresser gonna shake up somebody if he lay hands on him. But this money would have been taken today. And I appreciate the fact that we do have some men of God that you came by off. As long as I live, 
I will preach holiness. You can't pay me to stop preaching holiness. I was born in the fire. I'll die in the fire. Here it is, the man of God comes out, but instead of coming out, rather, he sent his messenger out. Naaman is a proud man because he's very honorable, and he is the captain of the host, and he is celebrated, and he's a man of, of valor. He don't fear nobody. And so he figures that Elisha was going to come out and uh, wave his hand over him, and he'll be healed. But friend, let me tell you something. Your thoughts are not God's thoughts. When you think that God's going to do something, God may do another thing. I've never underestimated God. When I ask God for something, I know it's going to come, so I stop saying, come the way I want it. I just wait on God. Hallelujah. It's one thing I found out. God will show up, and he will be on time. Even though your back is against the wall, even though you don't see any change, God will show up. And so he, he, he got upset because the man of God didn't come out and wave his hands all over the place and heal him. But Naaman must understand he's got too much to gain than to lose out for nothing. And I thought about us, the way we've been living for God, the way we have been praying and all of us fasting and uh, crying and going through tests and trials and Satan tries to get you to give up. But you've got too much to gain than to lose out in the end. Don't sell out, praise God. A lot of folks sell out for a little bit of nothing, for a little man. You know, in basketball, when, when a guy that's taller than a little guy and the little guy trying to check him, and once he show him that he can't handle him, he'll go like this, showing he's too little. Let me tell you something. You don't serve no little God. You serve a, a great God. And you serve a God that can take a door if it's closed and make a window open up for you. That's the kind of God you serve. It's too much to gain, to lose out right now. You've been too far. You've traveled too far on this road of holiness. Don't give up right now. Too much to gain. If only Naaman had a thought, he wouldn't have been upset. He'd have realized, you know what, I'm a captain, I'm honorable, I'm a man of valor, I'm a man that's in the uh, kingdom of Syria. I got a lot behind me. Why don't I just do what I'm supposed to do and get prayed for? But the Bible said he went away angry. He went away in wrath. But praise God, God had somebody that was there my God, to tell him, why don't you consider it? If he'd asked you to do something great, Naaman, you'd have done it. But aren't you glad that before you walk out the door, you got a friend that'll stand there and tell you, baby, don't go no farther. You've been too far. you got too much to gain. When I think about heaven, my God, I look around and I see this crazy world that we live in and, and I think about heaven I say to myself it's not worth giving up what we build up and build up now I want to say to Pastor Fields I know you want to give up and I know you want to sit back but my God it's too much to gain to sit back and give up and I'll say to any minister any deacon and any member it's too far praise God that you've come many miles Many robes, many tears. You've cried many nights. My God, to give up right now.
Hallelujah to God. And the Bible said that Naaman, my God, went on down to the river of Jordan. But my God, he said, wait a minute. Don't you know there's many other rivers that's better than Jordan? That's why you tell your people, come on over to holiness. They say, I'm not coming over there because those holy rollers, my God, y'all ain't nothing but trash. But my friend, don't you know that trash always on top? That's why you need to come into holiness. He made up his mind. I'm going to go try this. And the Bible said that my God, he went down. My God, one time and didn't nothing happen. When somebody told you to get baptized in Jesus' name and you carry it and you didn't get it. And somebody encouraged you to keep on going. My God, they knew it was too much to gain to let you walk out without the Holy Ghost. And Naaman went down seven times. Seven times he went down. And on the seventh time, he came back clean. But let me tell you something. Let me, while I'm up here, let me tell you, if you don't change when you get touched by God, something's wrong. If you don't change when you get touched by God, something's wrong. Naaman got converted. Uh-oh, what they say? How you know he got converted? You know what Naaman did? He asked him, what, what can I do for you? Naaman said, you can give me two mules and two barrels full of dirt from the land of Israel, from the land of Samaria, a place where the man of God was. He didn't ask for talents. He didn't ask for gold. He just asked for two mules. My God, and put dirt in those barrels. And you know what he did? He took those two mules uh, and barrels full of dirt uh, back to his place where he worshiped. Uh, my God, and laid it down on the ground. Uh, and you, all you ever know is that he got on his knees. Uh, whenever the king went in uh, to serve his God, uh, he got on his dirt uh, where the man of God was uh, and began to serve the God of Israel. Uh, I don't know about you, friends. In, huh? But I know he got converted. Huh? He never would have asked huh? for the dirt from the ground huh? where the holy man was. Huh? But he took it back to Syria huh? and he stopped frozen, huh? serving those idol gods. Huh? I don't know about you, huh? but when I got saved, huh? good God Almighty, huh? ants look saved. Huh? Everything looks saved. Huh? When I got changed, huh? I stopped smoking. Huh? I stopped doing dope. Huh? I stopped doing alcohol. Alcohol. I stop midnight rambling huh? when I get saved. Yeah. Hallelujah. It's dry up here. Ah. This weather messes me up. But it's one thing about Naaman. His life was never the same. When he asked for those two donkeys and filled up those barrels full of dirt and took it right back up to Samaria, uh, Syria. And every time he went to the temple, he let his king go into the temple and he got on his knees on that dirt and prayed to the God of heaven because he was an honorable man. If God hadn't seen that he was an honorable person, he never would have gave him the victory, not over Israel. May I say this? You have been in this thing too long. You have got too much to gain to lose out in the end. Too
too much to gain. What do I have to gain? Number one, heaven is you can gain. Walk in the streets of gold. Being able to go from the holy city to anywhere you want to go. If you lose out now, you got too much to gain. Friend, you just don't know how blessed you are. Satan is on the rampage now. He's trying to deter everybody. Young saints, I stick with young people because I love young people. Not that I don't love old people because I'm old. So, you know, I, I love old people. But young people, especially in this day, whenever I see little kids on, he was playing a little organ back there. And what was your son said? To blow the trumpet or something. You got your children in things that to glorify God. Everybody in here got too much to gain. Naaman made up his mind. I guess he realized, what is it just to dump myself down in water in old dirty joy? I remember when I was in Israel. I went to Jordan. You may be seated. I went to Jordan. And Bishop Burt was baptizing some of his members that wanted to be baptized. And I thought about naming. I wanted to see if, if Jordan was dirty. I looked around. It didn't look dirty to me. It was sort of a greenish color, blue-greenish color water in Jordan. And I tell you what, I would rather be with the stuff that's on top that you call scum and sticks. I'd rather be floating on top for God than at the bottom going to hell. Too many people have sold out to the world. This ain't no time to sell off to the world. You got too much to gain. I know it gets hard sometimes, and I, I, I'm not saying it don't. I know sometimes it gets hard, especially with young folk. It gets hard because when the sun comes out and these women get in these daisy dukes and show all their skin, and I know it gets hard. People start drinking all over the place and drugs start flowing where you come from. I know it gets hard, but remember this. You got too much to gain than to lose out for something like that. Bishop, I know you want to quit. I know. I want to give it up too. I've been passing over 40 something years. And I want to give it up to somebody, but I got to give it to somebody that I know is going to hold up the holiness standard. Did you hear what I said? That's why I'm still holding on until God tell me just who to give it to. And I'm in Elder Wins, we, we pray because we we, we kind of, we've been together. If L. Williams was a young man, it wouldn't be no problem. I said, you got it. You, I didn't hell it this long. You take it the rest away. But see, he's stumbling over his feet just like me. <laughs> so we don't need that. <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm looking for somebody to step down to. But I want our church to go forward like you want yours to go forward. And I tell you, you did a good job by picking your son. That was good. 
But it proves, it proves it. Don't you know the average person would not honor you and he's the pastor? He says, it's my turn to get honored. Hey, he ain't the pastor. What am I honor him for? He had his day. Now listen, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I know how people think. But you're a good son because you love your daddy. And you understand what he went through. And that's wonderful that you're able to do that. And to you, this Bethesda, you hang tight. You, you got too much to gain. Look at the leaders that you have had here. Bishop Vaughn started the whole thing. And let me tell you, Bishop Vaughn didn't give it to anybody. He gave it over to uh, Jerry Brown. And Jerry Brown didn't give it to anybody. He gave it over to Ross Fields. He didn't give it to anybody. He gave it to his son who loves holiness. And that's what you got to do. We got too much to gain to give stuff over to folk who got worldly minds. Listen, it's time to grow up, man. We're trying to go home. And it won't be long. Naaman realized just to dip seven times in old nasty Jordan, look what he gained. He gained a God. You need to read the story. You need to look at the history. Naaman never did go back and serve them idol gods. He always got on his knees on that dirt that he got from the, called the God place. I want to say tonight, my mouth is stuck together almost. We got too much to gain to lose out now. I've been holding this for over 50 years. I got too much to gain to give it up for a little bit of nothing. I've been here long enough to see the change in the people of God. And, and it's a terrible change. And I want to tell you, Bethesda, if you don't stay holy, you'll be just like anybody else. you got to hold a standard. Because if you don't, if you think getting loose is going to bring people in, can I tell you a secret? You get loose, they're going to leave. You know why? Because they're going, they're going somewhere that look just like them. It's easy to do that. That's where people make their mistake. Trying to blend in, to get along with people. You better serve God. I ain't going nowhere. And Brother Smith, you better preach holiness or you'll find a box at your door. <laughs> you better preach holiness. Better stand tight. I'm just trying to help everybody. We got to stand together as a church. And if we don't stand together, it's not many of us you don't think about it. Too much to gain. To lose out now. Who cares who changed? You don't want to change. I don't want to change. Because this is right. Bishop Fields, you hold tight. You put a good seed in here. It will grow. Just take time, but it will grow. Because somebody is looking for holiness, Ella Smith. Somebody's looking for it. You may not see them, but God's got some that want to come 
to your church because it's holy. It's different. Hallelujah. Too much to gain than to lose out. Naaman understood that. So he did his seven ducks. I'm gone. Who's giving all to God? Hallelujah. Can we stand to our feet and just magnify the Lord for the word of God right now? Hallelujah. Come on. In the name of Jesus, I want you just to close your eyes and I want you just to begin to talk to God right now. While you're talking, amen, Bishop said something that, that reminded me. We were driving down 65, coming from a meeting, me and my wife, and right on the highway, it's brand new, just put up. Traffic was flowing slow because it was rush hour, but... On the side, somebody had written in graffiti, the end is near. Now, I'm pretty, I'm quite positive that that was someone worldly that, that probably doesn't know God the way that you do. But if they can tell that the end is near, how much more should the people of God be having that spiritual alarm going off in our, in our spirits say, saying the end is near. You can see it all around you. You can feel the devastation. You see it in our communities and our neighborhoods. The Antichrist agenda is just running rampant throughout our communities and around the world. The end is near. But let me tell you something. There's still room at the cross. There's still room at the cross. I want you to grab the person's hand next to you right now. And I want you to begin to pray for them. And as you pray, if the Lord is pulling on your heart, I know that this may cause just a little bit of traffic jam. But listen, if the Lord is pulling on your heart right now, I don't know who I'm talking to. Maybe, amen, you strayed just a little bit. Amen. Maybe you stumbled and you, you're trying to find your footing again. I'm telling you right now that God wants to set your feet back on straight street. Amen. You ought to come out of your seat and come up here to the front right now. In the name of Jesus, if you're battling with things in your mind. Amen. Listen, everybody. Amen. There's some people I can admit that there's been times in my life and my walk with God. Amen. That there was a struggle in my mind. But one thing that I found out. Amen, is that the people of God, when they begin to pray with me, and I felt the power of God, I found out that day that God is a mind regulator. Amen, I want to tell you that you don't have to go through the struggle by yourself. Amen, but there are people here right now, there are men and women of God, amen, that can pray with you. And I believe that tonight the mind battle will stop in the name of Jesus. Amen. I don't know who's in the room today. Maybe you've been battling with some, amen, this type of depression, amen, because times have gotten rough. But I've come to tell you today, amen, that there are people in the room. We've got ministers that can pray with you, amen, and God will cause the depression to flee from you in the name of Jesus. Come on, in the name of Jesus. Come on, if that's you, I want you to come to the front right now. Amen. I don't know what you're dealing with, amen, but I believe that whatever it is, amen, that you're dealing with, that God wants to give you breakthrough right now tonight. I know that this is an anniversary, a celebration, amen, but listen, I don't think Bishop minds if somebody gets a breakthrough tonight. I don't think Bishop minds if somebody gets delivered tonight. If somebody receives the Holy Ghost, if you've never been baptized in Jesus' name, tonight is your night. There's still room at the cross for you. Don't you let the devil trick you into thinking, amen, that you've got to stay the way that you are. Don't you let the devil trick you into thinking that if you come up here to the altar that people are going to be talking about you. Amen. Listen. Amen. Don't you let the devil trick you out of your deliverance. But you ought to let the Lord have his way in your life tonight. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. If you're not coming, amen, I want you to begin to pray for the person's hand that you're holding. I want you to pray that God will touch them. 
I want you to pray that God will bless their finances. Pray that God will bless their household. Pray that God will keep them. Pray that God will strengthen them. Pray that God will send a refreshing. Pray that God will give a breakthrough in their household. Breakthrough in their finances. Breakthrough on their job. Come on, in the name of Jesus, you ought to pray and say, Lord, if they're dealing with things on their job, Lord, I pray, God, that you would send your anointing and power, that you would send your angels to fight on their behalf. So when they go back to work on Monday, that there's a shifting that happens in the atmosphere. In the name of Jesus, come on. Hey, hallelujah, hallelujah. 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 Come on now, clap your hands and give the Lord some praise. Come on, I said clap your hands and give the Lord some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Harris, for the word of the Lord. Amen. One thing that I love about Amen. Men in their generation, that they stand on truth and holiness. Believe it or not, amen, these men I look up to, everywhere that I've gone, I've never failed to mention these great men that have made such an impact in my life. Amen. First and foremost being my father. I remember the, all the days that when I was a kid and me and my brother would be cutting up, he would get on us, but he would stay focused on what the Lord had him to do. I remember the hours that he would spend out there preaching on the street corners, out there, amen, setting up the instant church, sometimes by himself, because me and my brother, we was surely no help at times, but amen, but he did it as unto the Lord, and I thank God for an example like that. Amen. And I hope, amen, and my prayer is, is that I would continue in the, full, the, foot, the footsteps, amen, that God, amen, has had him to walk in, amen. And as, as long as God has me to lead, amen, but there's the temple, amen, I am focused in staying on the mission, the mission of holiness, righteousness, the Acts 238 message, that is the only message. Amen. I said that's the only message. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us stand our feet as we're getting ready to close out. Amen. Thank you, Victory, for coming out. First Lady Harris, amen. We love you. Amen. First Lady Amos, we love you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your favor. We thank you for your mercy, God. We thank you, God, for the word of God that came forth tonight. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would strengthen the man of God. Lord, as he has poured out, Lord God, I pray, God, that you would touch his body, God, from the top of his head to the sole of his feet. In the name of Jesus, continue to strengthen, God, these great men, God, that you have, God, kept here with us, Lord God. Lord, to continue to be examples, Lord, for the next generation. In the name of Jesus, Lord, and we thank you right now. In Jesus' name, amen. Greet your brothers and sisters in the Lord. Tell them that you love them. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name.